Hi, it's Kip K back with another weekend project from the pages of Make Magazine. Back thousands of years ago, even before the bow and arrow, there was an ancient throwing weapon called an atlatl. Now this allowed you to throw a spear at up to 100 miles an hour and penetrate the side of a mammoth's hide. Well, this atlatl is still used today in the Amazon basin. So on today's weekend project, we're going to build this easy to make, ancient yet modern throwing weapon, the atlatl. Make Volume 12 is where you'll find the Atlatl Project, and it's by Daryl Herlichka. Gather up the materials, which consist of a 1x4 piece of pine, a couple of wooden pegs or dowels, some cordage for wrapping, I use some kite string, and some duck feathers about 8 inches long. You'll need two for each dart you make. The Atlatl handle is going to be 24 inches long, and there's a template with the PDF or in the magazine. So you'll mark that, and then I proceeded to cut out that shape using my saber saw. And you should end up with an atlatl handle that looks similar to this. The last step is to drill out a 1-inch hole at the top of the handle in the atlatl. And since we're going to be holding this, it's a good idea to use a little bit of sandpaper and sand off any burrs or sharp edges. A small one and a quarter inch peg will be installed at the end of the atlatl, so I'm going to use a small bit and drill at a 45 degree angle a small hole, and then follow that up with a quarter inch bit. The peg should fit in snugly, and you may also want to use some glue just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And since the peg is going to be taking the most stress on the atlatl, I wrapped it with some string and covered that in some glue. The atlatl handle is done, and now it's time to move on to our dart. Using a razor knife, I whittled one end out and made a very nice sharp point. Then a very small hole or knock needs to be drilled out on the other end of the dart using a quarter inch bit. You just want to go in about an eighth inch or so. And then the final step is to glue on two duck feathers at the very end of our dart using hot glue. I also decided to use some string and wrap the feathers for added strength. So here's how to grip the atlatl. You take your index finger and that will go through the hole and it's on the opposite side of where the peg is at the very end of the atlatl. And you'll basically grip it just like that. And then you take your dart, and remember your dart has the small knock in the end, and that's going to fit right on the peg. And then you'll hold the dart with your thumb and index finger. Okay, I've never thrown an atlatl. I've never uh, used this, so this will be the very first uh, test of, to see how, how this goes, and I'm not sure, but I'm going to follow the instructions on how to throw it, and we'll see how the atlatl flies. Well, look at that, right in the ground. First throw, let me zoom into that. You can see how it's stuck right into the ground. Where is it at? Not bad for a first attempt. Now that was fun, and for a first time throw, well, not too bad. And I could see how, with some experience and practice, you could really get this dart to sail. Now, if you do this project, make three or four of these darts. It'll just save you the time from having to walk back and forth to get the dart. So that's how to make this ancient yet modern throwing device, the Atlatl. We'll see you next time with another weekend project. Music